In front of me, I have the FS700. It belongs to a client who wanted me to adapt his camera to add and attach various accessories. He wanted uh, a way to mount his nano flash and his DP4 viewfinder, a place to hang a light that's a little off center, and uh, a handle on the left-hand side uh, that gives more support. But what I want to demonstrate today is those uh, accessories that I gave him uh, and how it works with the multi-plate. Uh, if I had the DP4 with an FS700, I would put the multi-plate with the extension arm, which is meant to uh, rest on or against your shoulder, fully retracted into the plate. When you uh, want to go handheld, all you would have to do is take the camera and rest it on your shoulder like this and then your viewfinder is in a good position for viewing it, uh, and you can even lift up if you don't need the shade and be able to see it and it's at a good distance and you have a nice balanced camera. What I find very valuable uh, that I've adapted to his plate but I use uh, a lot myself when I use this plate uh, with the EX1 is this arm because the EX1 especially has a tendency of wanting to tilt in this direction. The FS700 seems to have that tendency as well. So it's good to have something to ha a handle to hold on to. That rotates and I can have it depending on whether or not I have it above my head or low lower and depending on whether I want to be able to have access to uh, control things like the iris or uh, the f uh, focus and uh, see if I go low I can tilt it back a little bit so my hands in a good position and uh, with the FS700 and the uh, EX1 you can rotate uh, the zoom uh, handle as well so it makes for a very balanced to have a grip on both sides so I'm going to put this back and I'm going to show you another configuration before I do that, I meant to show you the advantages of, of the, uh, the way I have the DP4 connected. Uh, the system that I use uh, is a system called RAM mounts, where these are one inch balls that have three eighths of an inch or quarter inch uh, screws or, or a socket and can be uh, attached to different devices. So this particular camera has a handle on top that has both a uh, quarter inch and three eighths of an inch. So I put in one ball here that I leave on the camera uh, and I then put it on an arm that connects the two devices together so I can uh, have the monitor in the position I was just using and you saw. I also, if I'm standing in front, I can rotate the monitor towards me up or down. And the other thing that I can do is that if I'm working in front of the camera and want to be able to uh, see what uh, the camera is seeing, I can rotate it this way. It gives me many, many options. And it's convenient that this and many cameras have a, a, a handle with some holes on top. If not, you can also mount it to the, uh, to the multi-plate and have it go up from there. It, it, it changes slightly for each camera. But I'm going to take it off now because let's say you don't own a viewfinder. Well, if you didn't own a viewfinder, but you want to be able to adapt to handheld, you've, you would have to, if you owned the FS700 with its viewfinder in the rear, uh, which is not a great design, but uh, the multi-plate can adapt to it, you would bring out the articulated or the support arm out from the body, from the multi-plate body, and then you rotate the uh, piece that I have here that rests against or uh, on your shoulder. Uh, I would bring the nano flash around, and I'll show you at the same time the arm that connects the nano flash. It's much simpler. It's just a one-piece arm. It doesn't have a twist in the middle because you don't really need to. It can. Uh, find the positions that you want quite easily by just um, 
rotating it uh, forward or backwards uh, around uh, the same point. So let's say I position it there and um, I want to go handheld. Well, take it off the tripod and then I'll press that on top and sort of on top of against my shoulder. And now I can see the viewfinder in the, in the back and I've uh, rotated uh, my, the handle in front uh, so that I can give a good grip uh, to the camera, uh, just like before. And uh, I still have access to my uh, focus and iris, and I have this zoom in the appropriate place. The other, um, uh, now I'll put it back onto the tripod and I'll show you some of the other features. Well, before I do, let me show you the plate itself. Uh, this is the plate. It's got T slots all around. So the, on this side, I have uh, one RAM ball uh, mounted so that I have this arm in front. Two arms actually with a, a joiner of a double ball that joins them together so that I can move it out and up, which uh, is for uh, the potential use of a light if you want a light that's slightly off center. But you also could put a second wireless receiver there. Here, the uh, piece that pulls away from the plate, a supporting bracket, uh, also has a RAM ball with uh, to hold the nano flash or a wireless receiver. And on this side, you can you can mount. I uh, have another ball, but only thing I have on this side is the handle for holding. See, this is the adjustment for the um, support bracket which uh, comes in and out. So that's what these two knobs are, just to tighten the support bracket. So I think I've shown you all the features there are for the multi-plate and for how I've adapted the uh, FS700 uh, to work with the plate and with various accessories that you could potentially uh, use. Um, so I thank you very much for your attention.